This is an LED driver. It's designed to drive uh, a 1 watt to 3 watt LED from the mains. And it's the sort of thing inside this that would uh, drive little clusters of LEDs in these lights and the circuitry would be stuffed in here. Except in this case they put it in a wee box because um, it's also used in situations where it's driving things like a little um, downlight. So I got one of these uh, just separately on its own online because I had a thought, I mean I probably got loads of them knocking about the house, but I just thought I'd get another one. I had a thought, these things are designed to put out, uh, they're designed to drive between 1 and 3 LEDs in series, so that'll be roughly about 3 to 12 volts at a fixed current of 300 milliamps. And that means that theoretically, if you stuck them across some LED tape like this, then as long as the length is alright it should drive it. It won't be an ideal situation because these are designed to run at 12 volts, but technically speaking it is the three LEDs uh, in series on each circuit, but load them connect in parallel. So what will actually happen is that over the whole length of the tape, the uh, it will treat it all as one big cluster of three LEDs, and the current will be divided amongst them all. So, uh, on that basis, there are... How many LEDs? This is a is it 60 LEDs a meter? 300 LEDs per roll, um, 3 in series, that's 100 circuits, 300 milliamps, it's going to be roughly 3 milliamps a circuit, so it's not going to be super bright. So let's, uh, without further ado, let's just hook it directly to this. Now, inside this actually, I'll pop, pop it open, is pretty much as you'd expect. It's the generic little circuit. It's got a diode coming in to rectify the mains, not a full bridge in this one. It's got the smoothing capacitor, 4.7 megafarad, 400 volt. It's got the chip. What chip is it? Uh, the chip is... It's an SM7513. So that's a very common chip for that, and it basically does everything. It drives the transformer. It's got two components to set the sort of primary current, and uh, I'm not sure what the other components for it. Maybe I just attach a small power supply capacitor in this. Uh, the output of the transformer goes through a, a diode, charges up this tiny little capacitor, but it is a high frequency application, so it's, it doesn't have to be such a huge size. 4.7 megafarad, 50 volt, and then there's a tiny little resistor there just to act as a sort of like a, a discharge load, I think, uh, to either stabilise the circuitry or provide a load to protect it when it's open circuit or to make sure that when it's turned off that you don't get residual... Um, uh, glow for too long from the LEDs. So let's stick that back in there. Let's plug it into this roll of tape. I've never done this before. I haven't a clue what's going to happen. I should think it's going to make the tape glow. As with everything from China, never assume that it's going to have proper isolation. But uh, then again, never assume that even the transformers supplied with the LED or tape are going to have proper isolation. So let's try this out and see what happens. So I'll just stick this in here. This might go bang or the tape might light. And the tape is lit at a modest brightness, so I reckon there's going to be about 10 milliamps. Now, the resistors on this tape are a 3 milliamp, should I say. The resistors on this tape are, are 150 ohms, so let's measure the voltage across them. This isn't an application that you could, uh, unless you were using very short runs of the tape, it's not something that you could expect this to light the room uh, because the tape isn't super bright but it's bright enough as a visual effect so it would be alright for decorative applications having said that you have to also assess whether you'd actually want uh, such a tiny little power supply you'd trust it for proper isolation so let's measure the voltage across one of those resistors so it's connected to that pad and there So I'm only getting about 4.48 volts across 150 ohms. So let's do the maths. I equals 0.48 volts divided by 150 ohms equals 3 milliamps. It is almost exactly 3 milliamps. It's passing through each circuit. So um, that's quite good actually. It's quite novel, I can't think of it as a serious application, but it's nice you can get such a tiny power supply. 
can run this and you have to remember that if you cut it down in size the minimum you could probably run uh, if you went too short if you tried just dr driving a very short section it would still share the current out so if there were just 10 sections it would be of LEDs 30 LEDs you'd have about oh, 30 milliamps going through them um, uh, so let's see to, if you're absolutely wanting to cap it uh, 300 milliamps divided by uh, 20 milliamps equals 15 times a 3. So, oh, blame me, no, I, I did that wrong. 300 milliamps. Let's see if I can delete that memory. It's, I've, I've put something into memory. Oh, it's not deleting the memory. There it goes. Right here. Uh, so 300 divided by the uh, maximum I'd want this tape is 20 milliamps equals 15 circuits times 3 equals so 45 LEDs is still be quite a modest uh, the short length actually yeah but uh, having said that I wouldn't ever really trust it like that I'd rather just run a long a long run of this stuff and just have it at the very low power but uh, it's quite nice that you can run them off these tiny little power supplies even though it is not a recommended application